welcome to another installment of Metal Hit Central, the show where I take an honest look at the harder side of music and give it an honest rating. Today, we're going to be heading into hardcore territory and taking a look at Code Orange's new album, Underneath, it was released March 13th on Roadrunner Records. This is the band's fourth album, and their first since 2017's Forever, which birthed a Grammy nomination for the band. So, did this hardcore outfit deliver? Let's find out. Now, this is without question a Code Orange album. It's weird, it's bizarre, it's off kilter, and it just feels like this album needs to go through some serious self-evaluation and figure out just what the heck it wants to be. It is everything hardcore fans want, everything metal fans want, everything rock fans want, and yet it's also everything that those people abhor. There are moments of sincerity and ingenuity on here that are really kind of mind-blowing, Yet there are also moments where that's all shattered by the album's need to go completely off the deep end with itself. It's also a tale of two halves, with the first half focusing on the shrieking, harsh music that this band is known for. Tracks like Swallowing the Rabbit Hole, In Fear, and You and You Alone are completely thunderous in their composition. The vocals are sharp as a knife, piercing through the ears and drilling multiple holes within the very skull. The riffs are heavy and completely unforgiving, and it is an absolute chore to get through. Which is probably why I didn't like it. As I've said on here before, music should never, ever be a chore. It's got to flow and hold an excellent idea for what it wants to be. The first half of this album had really no idea. It needed to find its own identity. Thankfully, the second half comes in, and it's a lot better. I loved Sulphur Surrounding and The Easy Way. They're easily the best tracks on the album. The band experiment with cleaner vocals, and I like the way that Jamie Morgan and Reba Myers' vocals spin collectively. I do think Myers needs some help as her voice is not the greatest in the world, but as far as songs go, these were rather well composed. The rest of the album has some redeemable qualities, including some excellently thought out courses on Autumn and Carbine and the title track. But the one thing that stands out on here as the worst would have to be the production. The shrieking vocals are placed way too far forward in the mix, the guitars play a supporting role at best, and the intentional audio cuts and electronic overtones don't really add anything. They don't play a part in making the song musically interesting. Now there are times in metal where that has been done and done to good effect. I think of, you know, Slipknot and, and there was some stuff on uh, on Baroness's album from last year that that was really good and where where electronics and interludes and and, and these 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 kind of creepy crazy cryptic musical ideas actually worked but here it just feels jarring and unwarranted it's like you're going along in the track and then this random electronic thing will happen and and it just doesn't work it it doesn't fit with the rest of the song while this was far from the worst album i've ever heard is nowhere near the best I've never been a fan of Code Orange, and this record did nothing to propel me in that direction. There were some moments of brilliance and actual musicianship on here, but overall it was nothing but hollow screaming, drumming that hardly knew how to follow a rhythmic pattern, and somewhat muffled guitar parts. All in all, it was a mediocre listen. I'm giving Underneath by Code Orange a 60 out of 100, and that's only because they finally found a voice through the second half. Thank you so much for watching. Click like and don't forget to subscribe for more Metalhead Central. Next time, we're going to be going into a bit of crossover territory with both black metal and folk music and taking a look at Mirkur's new album, and I hope I'm saying this right, Folk Shangye. I think I said that right. I hope you'll join me. You've been watching Metalhead Central, where I give honest ratings to honest music. I'll see you all next time.